Sometimes when performing quantitative analysis of residues in food and environmental samples, we need to analyze a large number of samples for a large number of compounds, although we often may only detect very few positives in those samples. MultiQuant software allows the use of query files to streamline this analysis to quickly process and sort through large data sets, then filter to only display the positive findings. Here is how you would run a query file on your data set in MultiQuant software. First, you would open an existing results table on a set of data or create a new results table. You can view our previous MultiQuant demo videos to get details on creating and navigating results tables. Once your results table is open, you will select Process, then Query. In this example, we are using our multi-component query file. By clicking on Edit Query, we can open this query file in Excel to make changes if needed. Here, we'll open the query file to give you the details of how this works. A query file is simply an Excel spreadsheet that pulls data from your multi-quant table, performs a series of calculations on those data, then feeds the results back into MultiQuant. This multi-component query file has several tabs. For this query, the most important tab is the MRM ratio tab, which is where we specify MRM ratio tolerances that will be used to highlight positive findings in our results table. We currently have the tolerances set at 20%, which is the more stringent tolerance suggested by some regulatory bodies. The Analyte Test tab displays the list of analytes in our analysis and the reporting concentration limit for each analyte. The analyte list here should contain at least every analyte listed in our quantitation method. You can define a reporting concentration limit for each analyte based on your specific minimum reporting levels, and only results exceeding that level will be flagged when you run the query file on your dataset. Query files can be customized to flag results based on any data parameter you like. In this case, the query file will flag results based on analyte concentration, but this column can be customized to flag based on peak areas or other data criteria. The other tabs in this Excel sheet are performing the calculations and do not require modification. Our ABCIX application support team can provide you with query files and help you to modify query files as needed to support your data processing needs. Now that you've seen what the query file looks like, let's run this query file on our results table. Once we select OK to run the query, it will ask us if we input our analyte cutoff values into the query file in the Analyte Test tab, just as a reminder. It will also ask us if we'd like to apply those reporting thresholds to all of our samples in our list, including the standards and quality control samples, or just to our unknown samples. In this case, we only want to apply the reporting threshold to our unknown samples, so we can simply type unknown in the box to the right of the question. Finally, it will ask us to confirm the MRM ratio tolerance, which we had set at 20% in our query file, but we can make edits to this threshold here if needed. We click OK and the results table is then processed against our query file. After running the query file, a few new columns will be added to our results table. The failure code column, which will show MRM ratio failed if that sample does not have an MRM ratio of 20% or better. The MRM ratio column, the expected MRM ratio column, and the internal standard MRM ratio column, if you're using an internal standard, which in this analysis we are not, so those results are just zero. You will also notice that some of the lines are now in green. This means that these results met the reporting parameters that we defined in our query file. The MRM ratio was below 20%, and the analyte concentration was above the reporting limit we defined. In this case, that limit was set to 0.1 ppb, for all of our compounds. There are several ways that these data can be reviewed. The data can be searched manually by selecting the compound group name in the left side navigation bar and scrolling to find the green lines. Or, the data can be filtered to only display the samples and compounds that met our reporting criteria. This filtering is done by clicking the thumbs down button, which will show only query failures. 
The result will be a shortened table highlighting all compounds with MRM ratios of 20% or better and exceeding 0.1 ppb in our unknown samples. These results can be reported directly from MultiQuant using custom reporter templates. So by using these query files, we are able to process this results table of more than 4,000 lines of data to highlight just the samples with positive findings. If you are interested in using query files like this in your lab, or to learn more about MultiQuant software, email our support team at support at abscix.com.